Good evening. Please excuse the lighting. Uh, I often think in another existence, I must have been a circus performer on a, on a tricycle doing stunts because I love my cycling. Uh, I'd rather be on a bicycle than in a, in a Ferrari or a Porsche. It's so, so incredibly liberating just to have, just to go along and be really, really happy. And, and it's now about 10.30 p.m. on a Monday evening in London and it's very, very peaceful and quiet. It's really, really lovely. And I would like to, I would like to share something with you which I've been doing, which, oh, the bicycle's going too fast now, I'm gonna crash, ah, crash and burn. Hang on a minute. Do a Mr. Gurji when you crash, no? Let's see if there's a, there's a pillow ready to rest my head on when I actually come off this thing and go arse over tit. Uh, but yeah, what I've been doing for the last few days, and it really uh, pays dividends, is just from the, mo the moment you get up, to the, the moment you go to bed, just not to be bothered about anything at all. Just not care at all about anything. Don't worry about anything, don't be concerned about anything. Just be here in this particular moment and try to tune in to the otherness and the magic which is prevalent within the moment in which we exist. And someone said to me, someone I was talking to, a, a, a work student, a few days ago, and I'd never heard it before. It was, it was a, a, a merry sound effect, bicycle squeaking. Uh, it was an American lady, and she said, uh, worry is like a, a rocking chair. Uh, you keep going forward, and then you keep going backwards, but you get nowhere. So it sounds very, very simple and straightforward. I'm just cycling past a large van, hang on a minute. It seems very, very simple and straightforward, but there's something within us and it's put there from childhood to actually think about the future and about what we want and our desires and so on, which have no bearing upon our greater selves our immortal selves and when we actually stop worrying completely and just fit in to the moment whatever the moment is Nietzsche in Zarathustra says moment is the gateway to eternity and I'm sure it is no fear no concern about anything just be and be be very very happy don't even uh, thoughtualize it I've just invented a neologism thoughtualize to actually put something into thought to thoughtualize don't thoughtualize it just be and just dissolve into it into the radiance and to the beauty and the joy of this glorious existence and I spoke to a close friend a few days ago or in fact she emailed me and she was driving by a huge rolling river in in Nevada and she said it was exquisite just the mountains the river driving back home with her groceries from the grocery store and how awesomely beautiful it was and it is I'm coming into town now where I live and it's getting quite noisy uh, I'm currently writing a play about the fourth way and I've written two acts completed I'll actually re revise them and I'm going to run it to about three about another one and just sit in in my apartment and actually write in and being caught in creative imagination is one of the most euphoric things I've ever done in my life. It really, really is. It's utterly, gloriously euphoric to create something. Uh, right, I'm going to do a stunt now. Hang on. Lots of traffic. Here we go.
Oh, oh, oh. And it's a wonderful place to be when you tune in. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Just almost knocked three people over. Uh, glorious. And it's funny, I write, if there's any writers watching this, I actually, the process begins by completely emptying my mind of all thoughts. And I just sit down with, with a manuscript, pieces of paper, in front of me and it just it just flows out of me in a never-ending stream character plot uh, location everything and that applies to everyday life when we empty our minds and we just exist in this particular moment and as my lady friend said who was actually driving through uh, through Nevada, by the river and the mountains. When we are here in this moment, we realize what a very, very beautiful place we actually live in, and we do. And I've got to the point in my early 50s where I will not endure anyone whinging onto me about anything at all. I've got beyond it now. Uh, I would rather be alone with my writing and with my work than listen to people bemoan their lot. Uh, because your lot is a very, very good one, whatever it may be. And I will leave you with a, a quote from, from Maurice Nicole. Uh, whether you're very, very comfortable in life and you're very, very wealthy and everything is going well, or you're, you're the total opposite, uh, it doesn't matter because these circumstances we find ourselves in are the very, very best for the work that we do. And, and, and they are, I've discovered that anyway. Things to ponder on. Lots of love to you. And thank you very, very much for watching now. Uh, I used to be profligate and now I'm prolific. It's a good exchange. Cheers, me dears. Thank you very much. Bye.